Welcome back to the shop, folks. Uh, going to discuss something with you today that involves trimmers. Over the last few years, a lot of customers has got a lot more about researching what they're buying, even if they don't fully understand it. One of the things I've had brought up from a lot of people is the type of drive shaft that's in units. They've done some reading. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a course right here on basically that there's three types of drive shafts really they, they fall in about two categories you have a flex drive shaft which is like this which is basically top wound cables and it's flexible and then you have two classes of what's called a solid drive shaft now uh, that can be tricky you get people to go to compare and weight differences so I'm going to show you something here these both appear to be solid drive shafts. Let's move them. There's no reason to discuss that cable drive shaft anymore. There's one basic cable drive shaft, all made in the same factory. But in solid drive shafts, you'll see if you do any reading where it talks about a hollow ground drive shaft. Now, these are not a cable. They are an essential solid drive shafts. With the weight difference, and this is how they get that, I have cut these away to show you you look at the end of that one where I cut it, it is solid all the way through. The weight difference is dramatically different. When you see hollow ground, that means the outside is solid, it's not flexible, but it's hollow inside. Now in saying that, the next thing when I do explain that to people they ask me is which one's better. I don't really know that one is any better than the other as far as in the solid shafts. Now in the flex shafts, I changed several of them where they've been through, put through too much abuse especially with a blade or something on that trimmer and they've twisted apart i've never replaced a solid shaft from normal use that the shaft itself was bent generally what happens with those are the ends of it wear out they get into a bind or something like that uh, i don't know if you can see it in this picture but the end of that one has failed so you know to answer the question of which one is better than the other, I don't really have an answer for that. Uh, I believe for the weight differential, somebody that's using one all day long commercially, I'd probably much rather have that hollow ground drive shaft based on the fact that 99.9% .9 chance, unless you run over it with the truck, the end's gonna fail first and that's on any of them. If I was a homeowner or a farmhand and I was using a cutting disc a lot, I would probably not mind a little bit of extra weight to go ahead and get a true solid drive shaft. So there you go. That's just a little explanation. Not a judgment on any part. You just kind of have to make your own. More to educate you on what the difference is when you read it.